Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sattar Malik from the Department of Electrical Engineering, Bahadur Zikai University, Multan. Welcome back to a series of lectures about combination logic of digital logic and design. In this part, we will be discussing the analysis procedure of the combination circuits. The analysis is to determine the function of an implemented circuit. The task of analysis starts with the given logic diagram and culminates with a set of Boolean functions or a truth table or simply an explanation of the circuit operation. It means we will have a logic diagram or a circuit and then we will try to determine either its Boolean functions or uh, its truth table or we will have some kind of a phrasing of the circuit operation. The analysis can be performed manually by finding the Boolean functions or truth table or we can use any computer simulation program for the purpose as well. The first step in the analysis is to make sure that the given circuit is combinational and not sequential. A combinational circuit has no feedback paths. A feedback path is a connection from the output of one gate to the input of the second gate whose output forms part of the input to the first gate. Feedback paths in a digital circuit define a sequential circuit. To obtain the output Boolean functions from a logic diagram, we proceed as follows. During the step one, we label all gate outputs that are a function of input variables with arbitrary symbols, but with meaningful names. And we determine the Boolean functions for each gate output. During the second step, we label the gates that are a function of the input variables and previously labeled gates with arbitrary symbols. And again, we find the Boolean functions for these gates as well. During the third step, we repeat the process outlined in step two until the outputs of the circuit are obtained. And during the last step, we repeat by repeated substitution of previously defined functions, we obtain the output Boolean functions in terms of input variables. Let's try to find out the Boolean function of a given logic diagram by using the steps that we have defined during the previous slide. Here we are provided with a logic diagram now this is a combinational circuit if I if I just put it in a block then I can uh, very easily see that there are three inputs of this given circuit a B and C and two outputs f1 and f2 so in order to find the boolean functions of this given logic diagram we will proceed step by step. We have already labeled different outputs of different gates. For example, the output of this OR gate has been marked directly as F2. The output of this inverter has been marked as F2 dash. The output of this AND gate has been marked as T3. Similarly, the output of this OR gate has been marked as T1. And the output of this AND gate has been marked as T2. And lastly, the output of this or gate has been marked as F1. Next, we will write down the Boolean expressions for these different marked output gates. For example, in case of F2, we can easily see that F2 is the output of this OR gate whose inputs are coming from these three AND gates. This, the output of this AND gate is AB, the output of this AND gate is AC, and the output of this AND gate is BC. And 
the logic sum of these three outputs will be the output F2. Thus, F2 is equal to AB plus AC plus BC. Next, we will, we will find the output of this OR gate. The output of this OR gate uh, will be T1 will be equal to A plus B plus C. Similarly, the output of this AND gate T2 uh, will be equal to A, B, C. T3 will be equal to F2 dash which is coming from over here and T1. And lastly, and lastly F1 is equal to T3 plus T2. Now, once we have the expressions for different outputs of different gates, we have to repeatedly substitute these values and we will try to find out the expressions for F1 and F2 in terms of A, B and C. Here we have done that. We can see that F1 is equal to T3 plus T2. We have substituted the value of T3 which is F2 dash T1 and the value of T2 which is A, B, C. And then we have substituted the value of T1 which is A plus B plus C and by repeated substitution and a little bit algebraic manipulation we can have the expression of F1 in terms of A, B and C which comes out to be F1 is equal to A complement B, C complement plus A complement B complement C plus A, B complement C complement plus A, B, C. We have already written the expression for F2 which is which was equal to F2 is equal to AB plus AC plus BC. So we have followed certain steps and we have obtained the Boolean expressions for two outputs F1 and F2. Similarly, we can chalk out some steps to obtain the truth table of a given circuit. To obtain the truth table directly from the logic diagram we proceed as follows. We determine the number of input variables and for n inputs we form 2 raised to the power n possible input combinations and we list the binary numbers from 0 to 2 raised to the power n minus 1 in the form of a table. Next we label the outputs of selected gates with arbitrary symbols. In the third step, we obtain the truth table for the outputs of those gates which are a function of the input variables only. And lastly, we proceed to obtain the truth table for the outputs of those gates which are a function of the previously defined values until the columns for all outputs are determined. Let's try to find the truth table of a given logic diagram with the help of an example. For the same circuit for which we obtained the Boolean expression, now we will try to write down its truth table. Here is that particular circuit. Again, the same circuit with three inputs A, B and C and two outputs F1 and F2. So initially what we have done, we have written the eight possible combinations for the three input variables A, B and C and the eight possible combinations obviously will be from 0, 0, 0 up to 1, 1, 1. Next, we have written the column for F2. We already know that F2 is equal to a, B plus A, C plus B, C. The AND combination of A, B, the AND combination of A, C, the AND combination of B, C and the result of these three output gates will be going to an OR gate and the result then will be equal to F2. So F2 will be equal to 1 if either A and B are 1 or A and C are 1 or B and C are 1. So we can chalk out here B and C are equal to 1, here A and C are equal to 1, here A and B, A and B 
are equal to 1 and thus f2 is 1 for 4 different combinations then f2 dash the column of f2 dash will be the complement to the column of f2 then we have written the column for t1 t1 as we already know that is equal to a plus b plus c and obviously the result will be zero only when all a and b and c are equal to zero otherwise the result of the column t1 will be equal to one then we have written the column for t2 t2 is equal to a and b and c and obviously the result for t2 will be one only when all a and b and c are equal to one otherwise the result will be equal to zero next we have written the column for t3 t3 over here is actually f2 dash and t1 so this is f2 dash this is f2 dash and this is t1 and the result for t3 will be 1 when both f2 dash and t1 are equal to 1 otherwise the result will be equal to 0 then we have written the column for f1 f1 is actually t2 plus t3 this is the column for t2 this is the column for t3 and the result of f1 will be 1 when either t3 or t2 are equal to 1 and obviously during all uh, following all these four uh, steps we have obtained a truth table to identify or to determine the behavior of the given logic diagram for this truth table we can very easily say that for which combination of a b and c f2 is equal to 1 and similarly for which combination of a b and c f1 is equal to 1